What's going on? It is Wisp Quickie time. Ever wanted to add a section to your customer's invoice in UISP, kind of like this? Well, here's how to do it. The first thing, if you open your basic generic My Invoice template, the, uh, the one that kind of comes with UISP, open that bad boy up and hit edit. In here you see all the, the junk, all the guts that makes that look like it does. This is like the actual info for it. And then down here is your CSS, your cascading style sheets. This is your actual formatting for it that makes it look like it does. Info, formatting. What you're gonna do is create another template, name it whatever the hell you want, it doesn't make any difference. Go in here, you're gonna copy all this junk, put it in there, you're gonna copy all this junk, put it in there. Trust me, it doesn't look right if you don't do that. And up here you can change whatever you want. The part that we're talking about is this right here, where at the top of the invoice it says uh, my invoice and or uh, invoice number and all that, all this. We're gonna add another line below it. So take this right here, copy it, enter, and then space over. There we go. Now we got another one. And let's do I don't know things. I guess. Now this is a wild card of suit of sorts. In here, all your variables, you can pick whatever it is that you want. In this example, I'm gonna use custom attributes. You can see I have two of them made. To make a custom attribute, you do this. In your user, if you go in and hit add custom attribute, these are where those fields are. So if you go in and you put all the things, 69 more things, or whatever it is that you're wanting, let's do another one of these so I can show you both of them. that and then here. more things so if you go down here you hit copy for things it's gonna copy this bit right here for you and you just replace it this and then come down here and copy rinse and repeat paste preview. Now those two spots are there, but they're empty. Why? Because that was just the template. That wasn't the actual invoice. You fill those boxes right here. So as you're making a new invoice for Mr. Testy, you fill in whatever data or whatever it is that you're wanting. We'll do that just so it has, so it has to have something in it. And you hit save. Here. PDF preview, it didn't work because why would it? Oh, no, I know why. Okay. Helps if you pick the right template, dick. New invoice, you gotta pick the, uh, the one example. There it is. <laughs> all the, I guess I could put small, and all the small, gotta hate when you put it this there we go okay now product whatever doesn't matter cool that 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 all right save and now you go in here preview voila oh but it's all screwed up what do i go back to your template that you were doing and you see this right here that's for a break a line break i think is what it technically is down you go plonk enter plonk Oop, oh, don't you indent on me now. There we go. Do a couple of those. Maybe you'll need three. Maybe you only want to work. I don't know. Mess around with it. I did two earlier and it worked fine. So we're going to do two. Save. Looks pretty much the same. There's just a little bit more space here. So hey, whatever, right? Come to dude's invoice. And we're going to go here and regenerate PDF. And yes. Bonk. Now, oh, we need more spaces. Just a little. Okay. Save. Uno mas tiempo, por favor. Regenerate. That. And Bob Gerard. 
So yeah, that's how you go in and edit your invoices. Not too bad, right? I am not a coder, but I am quite efficient at taking other code and picking it apart and tweaking it. <laughs> I can usually make stuff happen if I have something to start with. So if you're a baller HTML CSS guy, you can probably go in there and do all kinds of crazy stuff. All of this in here, I'm sure, can be moved or changed to fit whatever need you want. So don't be afraid to get in there and mess around. All you have to do is just set up a new template and you can go in here and whatever you feel like doing. <laughs> Stay tuned for more Wisp quickies. I'm going to try to release these one a day, um, at least until I run out of ideas for them. So if you have questions or any you'd like to see, leave them in the comments down below. And be sure to like, share, sub, all that happy or shit. Later!